Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is inexpensive way to get into voiceover. So it's not cheap, cheap, it's not free, it's not really expensive. Um, but this is what I use to submit for voiceover auditions. And I think that it's the cheapest way to start in voiceover because you don't want to invest a lot of money to start with into your voiceover career. So these are the things that I use to help my career. <laughs> Let's jump into this video. The first thing you want, obviously, is a good laptop with a audio software. I use Audacity. There's many out there. I use Audacity because it's free. So you can just Google good audio software. You don't want terrible quality. You want good ones. I'm thinking about trying something different and I'll let you know if I do, but I'm sticking with Audacity for right now. So once you get a good laptop with a good software, you'll want something to put your laptop on. Some kind of laptop stand. This one works. This is design and it's adjustable. So you can have as high or as low as you want, um, depending on how your setup is. In my case, I use a closet like you've seen a few times. You can put your laptop on here, open it up. You can have either a paper version or a uh, read it off your laptop of what you're auditioning for. Perfect stand, height, everything. Okay. So, oh, the other thing you want is a hard drive because you want to save your voiceover auditions to your hard drive and not your computer so it doesn't waste space. Um, this is Seagate. It's four terabytes. It's plenty big enough. Um, and then the case of the Amazon. So get yourself a good hard drive, good laptop with some good editing or good audio software, a laptop stand. Okay. Check the basics. Now to get into the fun stuff. I don't know. Okay. So now all of these are in cases. Well, this one's in a plastic sleeve type thing with handles. Okay. So I guess we'll start with headphones. So I bought these headphones years ago, this unboxing video, unboxing my voiceover stuff. But I finally got a case for the headphones. Now, I didn't go super expensive. I will link, I'll try and link everything that I bought in the description. So if you want to check it out, that's where it will be. These are the Behringer, Behringer headphones. They work, they're comfortable. You can replace the like ear pads if they ever wear out. Um, they're labeled left and right ears. And they have a cord that comes with two, actually it's two adapters. So you have a big adapter if you have a big spot that you plug it into. But on the microphone, I'm gonna show you if it's the like little normal size headphone jack. So nothing too crazy. And then get a good case for your headphones. The best one to get would be a hard case, not a soft case, because if you're lugging this stuff, if you're going on a set and you have an audiobook audition, you want to, or any voiceover audition, you want to be able to bring this with you, so you want it as protected as you can. For the longest time, I used the box that the headphones came in because I didn't have a case. So, get yourself some headphones. You want good headphones that are going to be great at voiceovers, because you want to be able to hear what you say and you want a crisp clean audio or crisp clean hearing what your audio is saying so again that's why you want a really good audio software okay so let's do the microphone last so this is called a pop filter basically it attaches to your microphone you talk into it well you don't talk into it you're like this is a y y shape away hang loose from this and this makes it so your P, B, S don't pop P pops. So you don't want to pop in your video audition because it sounds like a puff and then it just doesn't sound right and then you gotta redo it and then you got all this other hassle and nobody wants to hassle with having to figure out how to edit that out. So you wanna get yourself a pop screen. Now, there's so many pop screens, so just figure out which one you want. Again, I will link all of my stuff if I can find the exact one. I'll link it in the description. If it's not, I will say it's not the same one and put in something that's similar, um, in similar price. Like this, I think was, I want to say 15. It could have been less. It could have been 20, but I don't think it was more than 15. So get yourself a pop screen. You want one that has like adjustable thing so you can flatten it. Otherwise, this is really hard to store. Um, and then has the adjustability you just twist it until it gets to where you can put your microphone on there or you can put it on your microphone yeah you're gonna attach your microphone um and then get yourself something to just put it in so that way it's in something and it's somewhat protected it unfortunately will not fit in the case for the microphone which would be nice but at least it has something so it's protected okay the last thing now this is going to be a little bit more expensive just because it's a microphone. Now, you want to get 
a good quality microphone, you don't. If you're just starting out, like, and you're like, okay, well, what if all I do is audition and I get one? Okay, congratulations if you get one. Now, you don't want to spend a ton of money on a microphone if you're not even sure if this is something you're going to love to do. Because the last thing you want to do is spend thousands of dollars setting up a whole voiceover studio. And after five auditions, like, you know, I'm not too crazy about what I'm doing. I like it, but I don't know if I want to make a career out of just voiceover. So you can get yourself, this is a USB mic. Um, it's in a bag by Casling. And this is what I use to record all of my voiceover auditions. I did record one like voiceover for a video that I did with it. So it works for that too. Um, but I mainly use it for voiceover auditions. So comes with a cord for to plug, for to plug. <laughs> comes with a cord to plug into the microphone end and the laptop end. So it's a USB mic. So it's plug and play literally. Now you're gonna hear a lot that don't use plug and play, don't use USB. I need to get an interface. You need to get all this. When you're just starting out and you're again, you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna love it. I just wanna try it out. Get don't get a one of those headphone microphones, like uh, it's a headphone with a microphone attached. You can, but you're not gonna have great audio. You're gonna have not great quality. So you want to go with the cheapest option you can. That's a microphone. That's separate from headphones. And this was not by any means like 20 bucks. This is actually a refurbished model. So I saved even going to have a heart attack if I break this. Not, I mean, I won't have an actual heart attack, but if this fell onto the ground, I'd be very sad. This is a refurbished model. So I did not spend as much money on this microphone as I would have if I bought it new. I bought it refurbished off of Amazon. So everything's from really from Amazon. Um, the laptop stand, I actually won. So I have no idea where it's from. Oh, it's from Amazon. It came in an Amazon box. Um, yeah, so literally everything's from Amazon. So this is a blue Yeti microphone. It's a USB microphone. It does have adjustable volume on the front and I have yet to learn how to use the back of this microphone. Um, there's a gain which changes something um, and a pattern so you can like adjust it. And it does actually, I'm gonna be careful because it will whack the back of it and then you just twist it down and it'll do whatever. But it stands up just like this. Hold the mic, <laughs> you can drop the mic, but don't do that. Um, so this microphone refurbished was, 250 I think so all together for I already had the laptop um the stand I won so all together not for the not for the cases for the headphones the microphone and the pop screen I spent 300 bucks roughly um so then for the like case for the headphones and the microphone probably another 40 I want to say yeah I don't know 350 dollars approximate retail value for my microphone headphones pop screen and cases um, may have been more, could have been less. So on the bottom, you can, I have never actually done this. I don't have room to hang this up. I don't have that much of a studio anyway, because I use my closet. So I can't hang a, like a microphone from the ceiling. There is a way to hang the microphones from the ceiling. Here is the spot for the headphones. This is the spot for the cord. And there's the cord plugs in here, cord plugs into your laptop. You turn on your audio software. You have to turn on this button. This is the power. So it'll flash when it's off. When you turn it on, it's a solid red light. It means it's recording. Just like in those old old movies. Just like in those old movies, or even the not old movies, but any movie where they're recording. You know how like it says on air in bright red or whatever color it happens to be, it's usually red. Or like a light bulb or something. When it's solid, it's recording. So that means you're recording and so you can, literally this picks up everything. But whenever you learn to use your software, you can edit out stuff. Um, You can edit out noises. That is the stuff that I use for my voiceover career, <clears throat> which is mainly just auditions right now. Oh no, I did use it for one project. It ended up being used in that project because it was for a 48 hour film and it would have been a little bit longer than the seven minute total that we had, but the director is making a director's cut, so hopefully I'll make it in. Um, but yeah, that is everything. And whenever you're buying a case, for your microphone. Helpful hint. Actually, it's very helpful. It's a tip. It's called make sure it has really good padding. It's a hard case with good sturdy padding that's not going to collapse into it. And then a pocket for power cord. Because, you know, if you lose your power cord, you can't use your microphone and then you'll have a serious problem. So don't lose your cord. So you can keep it in the case with this. Um, I bought the this case whenever I bought the microphone because I'm like, I don't want to damage my microphone. So then it just zips up. And 
and we've got a nice case that is bottom heavy because that's where the stand is. Okay, so I just gotta find a case for this or make a case for something. I don't know. I'm tired of using this bag. Okay, that is everything you need in an expensive way to start your voiceover career. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you use in your voiceover career. And also let me know what types of videos you guys would like to see. And I'll see you back next week for another video. Bye.